in this lecture we will discuss decoven tenosynovitis in this condition the tendon sheet the synovial sheet covering the tendons become inflamed in this condition it is a painful inflammation of the tendons on the side of the wrist at the base of the thumb in this condition there is inflamed tendons these tendons include that are inflamed are extensor pollicis brevis means it provide extension at the pollicis thumb and brevis it means small and abductor pollicis longus it's it do abduction pollicis means thumb and longus it means in long long tendon extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus this is important to remember these muscles are located on the dorsal side of the forearm and go to the lateral side of the thumb through a fibrous osseous tendon made of the processes steloideus radii and external retinaculum you can remember by this this can present on the lateral side of the thumb the pain which is the main complaint got worse with the abduction grasping area of the hand and an ulnar deviation of the wrist thickening and swelling because there is inflammation thickening and swelling also present the main complaint is in the decoventino synovitis is the pain in both the conditions at the abduction and at the extension patient feel pain the treatment for this is the tens for 20 minutes ultrasonic therapy we can use for 5 minutes and it's acute condition so we can go for ice massage for the 5 minutes initial treatment is as follows immobilize immobilizing your thumb and wrist keeping them straight don't go for any movement of the thumb in the acute case use splint or brace to help rest your tendon so that inflammation don't increase inflamed tendon sheet you can see these are the tendons that inflamed and there is the this is the thinar uh, snuff box this is the condition of decoventino synovitis where there is abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis become inflamed avoiding repetitive thumb movement whenever possible don't go for movement of the thumb immobilize the thumb in a neutral position next avoid pinching with your thumb when moving your wrist from side to side exercises in this condition we can do are extensor pollicis longus stretch and the wrist stretch and the wrist stretch in the extensor pollicis longus stretch begin with your elbow straight and your finger curl up around your thumb gently bend your wrist towards the little finger side un until you feel a mild to moderate stretch pain free and hold this position for 5 seconds and you can re repeat this to 5 to 10 times there is no increase in the symptoms okay this can stretch of extensor pollicis longus and the wrist stretch press the back of your hand on your injured side with your other hand to help bend your wrist you can do wrist stretch this is the, uh, the uh, this is the test for the decoventino synovitis also because in this position the patient feel pain in the lateral side hold this position for 5 to 5 uh, hold this hold for 5 15 to 30 seconds next stretch the hand back by pressing the fingers in a backward direction hold this for 15 to 30 seconds keep the arm on your injured side straight during this test do 30 sets do 3 sets next there is the tennis ball squeeze begin this exercise holding a tennis ball squeeze the tennis ball as hard as possible so that your muscles can work and comfortable without any pain hold this for 5 seconds and 5 to 10 repetition and there is no increase in the symptoms it is must 
यू कैन डू दिस एक्सरसाइज एज इन द पिक्चर रिस्ट रेंज ऑफ मोशन एक्सरसाइज रिस्ट रोटेशन लूज इन द टेंडन एंड इम्प्रूव द मोबिलिटी एंड रेंज ऑफ मोशन दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट होल्ड योर हैंड विद योर पाम फेसिंग अप एंड मिस एंड मेकिंग ए सर्कल विद योर थम एंड फिंगर रोटेट योर हैंड टू लेफ्ट अप टू टेन टाइम्स दैन रोटेट टू द राइट मीन्स ऑल रिस्ट रेंज ऑफ मोशन यू कैन परफॉर्म वेव योर फिस्ट इन ए नॉकिंग मोशन फाइव टाइम्स दैन टिल योर फिस्ट साइड टू साइड हैंड शेक दिस इज दी फॉर द रिस्ट रिस्ट रेंज ऑफ मोशन हैंड शेक द हैंड शेक लूज इन द टेंडन एंड मसल्स इन द रिस्ट फोर आर्म एंड फिंगर्स होल्ड बोथ हैंड लिम एंड शेक योर रिस्ट बैक एंड फोर्थ फ्रॉम एंड साइड टू साइड शेक फॉर थर्टी सेकेंड्स रिलैक्स एंड रिपीट टू टाइम्स मोर दिस इज फॉर द हैंड शेक रिस्ट फ्लैक्स एक्सटेंशन एंड रोटेशन these exercises are similar to the range of motion exercises but the addition of the weight strengthen the tendon and the muscle rather than stretching them stretching is important because the when the ten, when the tendons or muscles are tightened we can do go for stretching if they we can increase our strength we can go for weight weight exercises range of motion exercises can improve the blood flow improve the mobility and increase the range of motion sit with your forearm resting on your knee and your hand extended over the edge of your knee hold 1 2 2 weight in the affected hand turn your palm up and curl your hand towel and your forearm 10 times return turn your palm towards the floor then raise your knuckle to the ceiling 10 times rotate your arm in a circle left and right 10 times each these is these are the exercises of the wrist for decurvement tenosynovitis flexion of the wrist extension radial and the ulnar deviation and the rotation movement that is supination and pronation finger spring this is the last exercise that we can do for this place a large rubber band around a outside of your thumb and fingers open your fingers to stretch the rubber band this is for the strengthening do two sets of 15 15 repetitions and the two sets which tendon involved in the decurvin syndrome tell me the answer in the comment thank you